nobody. I'm back. It's Ann. And we have Mardi Gras on the way. Time to party. And if you want to see how I did this I love, keep watching. You just might learn something. Les a bon temps roule. Hello guys. Yep, I'm trying to do a little bit of a voiceover this time. What I'm putting on is some of the Wet n Wild Rose Scented uh, Primer Spray, Fixer Spray. It's got a little everything that it works on. And yes, I've got some stains on my sweater. Sorry. I was playing with the doggies and such. Anyway, I found this uh, Wet n Wild Spray is pretty good as a primer. I'm pretty happy with it. Anyhow, let's see what else we can get ourselves into. I'm using the um, Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in this one. So, yeah, see, I've got little paw prints all over my black sweater. That was not fun. Anyway, put my foundation on. I have decided so far the application was great. It feels good, but I haven't really done a wear test. This was basically just long enough to get the uh, stuff on my face so I could do all of my face painting. And I will give you a better update and a better idea of what I think of the foundation once I get a chance to do a proper wear test. Now, we're, there's a group of us doing a collaboration on this Mardi Gras theme. The Dirty Half Dozen that we kind of coined ourselves. There's Anya Stamper, Pink Sweets. There's Valerie from Give Me Lip and More. There's Allison Krause. And there's Danielle Gerstenberger from Glam Burger and Leanne Soreo and me. Ha! Anyway, some of us are doing this and some of us are pre committed. We will see what happens. We'll see how many actually show up. However, all their channels are in my description box below because I usually have them up there just to kind of remind people to go have a look at what they're doing. All right, foundation is on. I'm going to powder it just a little bit. Now, this is a wet and wild powder. Now, let's be real. You do not have to use everything I am using. You really don't. Use what you have. Go to the dollar store, pick up something else. Um... You know, go shop your stash. If you don't have a purple, a nice purple, or at least a good purple, and a decent green, and some sort of gold, then it might be time to go check around the drugstore and the Dollar Tree and whatever and see if you can find those colors. Because that's basically all you need to worry about for your eyes. I'm using the uh, white AOA Studio Concealer for the base. I don't know why it stopped briefly just then, but there you go. Filming is an iffy situation. I'm finding that I really, really, really like the, the white concealer as an eyeshadow base, especially if I'm doing colors that I really want to stand out. 
it's working wonderfully. It it's not over tacky. It doesn't get way dry. It's not greasy. It's it's wonderful. I am really impressed with a lot of the uh, shop AOA products, even though it's they're a dollar. I can live with a dollar. Yep. Now I'm staring at myself trying to decide which color to pick up first. Oh, that's right. I'm putting on the eye shields. ta -da! It's like, I've already got my foundation on, so yeah, I'm going to put the eye shields on to hopefully try and prevent too much fallout from running down on my face. Eye shields are kind of nifty. Some people like them, some people don't. It's, you know, one of those things that you have to decide for yourself. And... If I put my, my foundation on first, I'm more than likely going to use a shadow shield, especially if I'm working with something like the purples and that kind of thing, because a lot of the purples, you've got problem with kick up and fallout, and you've got, once you get purple on the rest of your face, you're not going to get rid of it. Now, the green I started off with is basically kind of a, a deep olive with a little bit of shimmer to it. On this white base, it's a paler, it's a lighter shade of green, which is just fine because you're not necessarily looking for dark, dark. This is supposed to be a really rambunctious party. By the way, in case you didn't know, there really is a response that you're supposed to give when somebody says, Les Ebontons Roulet. You're supposed to say, We share, and go running on down the road. It's basically, Yeah, let the good times roll, and responding back, Yeah, baby, you right, <laughs> is fun. Now, I have never been to Louisiana, to New Orleans, for a Mardi Gras. However, over time, I have met people who are native to the area, and, oh my God, the food is amazing. The food is incredible. And I have eaten at their tables, and it has been wonderful. And there's a lot that I learned about the traditions of Mardi Gras that are very different than what most people see. There's, you know, the big parade in New Orleans and that kind of thing. And there's a person that I met through my husband's job when he, we first got together who is from a small town called Mamou. And they did things a little bit differently. They didn't, they had a parade of sorts, but not the big floats and all of that stuff. It was much more of a rustic party and community feast. Still sounds like a heck of a lot of fun. Okay, the purple I'm working with I've actually got three purples that I'm playing with. I've got one that's fairly light that I started off with, kind of just putting putting down where I want the purple. And then I've got a purple shadow that had, had, none of these have a name. It's just a purple shadow. They The first one is relatively matte. The second one has got a um, shimmer to it. And then the one I'm going to put in the front is a loose pigment shimmer that I picked up at the Dollar Tree for um, from LA Colors. I love playing with that stuff. It's wonderful. You know, a dollar's worth of pigment 
in that little jar from LA Colors will last you bloody forever. It's just incredible. It really is. And yes, I do use some of the glitter glue that I own. It's a little pot of clear with a doe foot applicator. And it's kind of annoying a little bit because it's a little liquidy compared to some of the other ones, like some of the paste ones. I don't know why I was taking so long there. Anyway. Yep, this is the second purple. Slightly darker. Building it up a little at a time. The other loose pigment I'm going to be using is the LA Colors Gold. Since that's the colors for Mardi Gras, purple, green, and gold, please remember. Like I said, if you don't have purple, green, and gold in your current stash, you could make a run to the Dollar Tree if you feel like it, or to a drugstore and pick up some stuff. Now there's my little thing of glitter glue. I still don't know why this is stopping randomly. I don't get it. However, yes, that was the doggy going behind me again. That's why the curtain jumped. Now, I do one eye at a time when I'm playing with this glitter glue because it sets pretty quick. So, I wanted, wanted to do the one eye first so I could keep track of where I was with my glitter glue and then I'll go back and do the other eye. Trying to get that pigment out of that little net. I hate that little jar. The LA Colors little jar is a pain in the tushy. It's built like a volcano. It's a jar and then it's got a little widget that sits inside it that holds a little tiny brush and there's this little hole at the bottom that that little brush gets some pigment out with and it's it's annoying I know why that one is in the cotton picking dollar store okay but the pigment is wonderful I've been known to take those little brushes pitch them over in the corner and tap the jar so that it drops a bunch of pigment down into the cap and use stick my brush in the cap to go after it now see i love that purple it is such a pretty purple and that pigment you can do all manner of depth with you can do a very light wash which looks like it's lavender instead of a deep purple. You can do the deep purple by just building it up. What in the world am I fiddling with now? Must be doing something. Oh, uh, that's where I needed to tap some more of the, the, the pigment into the cap so I could layer some more on. Doodly doodly doo. Yep, green, purple. It's getting there. I don't know, maybe it's I'm sitting just still enough that the camera stops t picking up motion. I don't know. Dab a bit more of the green here and there so I don't lose the green at the, at the join points. I like that green. It's got a very mild shimmer, but it looks really good with the purple. Ah, there we go. More glitter glue. And then we're going to hit the gold.
gold, gold, gold. Now I'm mostly putting that in the inner corner in the upper part of the eye and com coming over towards the green. And then I'm going to carry it up to the brow line. And in a few seconds, we'll get to see me put my brows on because, yep, I forgot again to do that before I started the rest of the process. And I'm going, what is wrong with me? I never remember to put my brows on lately. I don't know. I think it may have to do with the fact that I now have brows, which is kind of a strange thing. It's, it's kind of weird to realize that I now have brow hairs. Yep, cleaning up the green just a little bit more, carrying it up just a little higher to go with that gold. And I've got the same green run under the lower lashes. And I'm going to put a little bit of gold just at the edge of the lower lashes in that corner. See? Right there. There you go. In the corner. Playing with some more at the front. Yep, see, I'm going to put it right up in there as if it was my brow bone highlight. And I'm going to make it almost look like it was intentional. It's kind of hard to make it look completely intentional because I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here with this. Trying to figure out what it is I wanted to do, make sure I got it all together. I believe I'm digging for my eyebrow pencil now. Yep, there we go. Eyebrow pencil in hand. It's my little elf eyebrow pencil. I love this thing. It's cheaper than dirt and works like a dream. It's $2. And it's a gorgeous pencil. It, it just is. And it's retractable. So... You know, if you roll too much out or it breaks off, you can just roll some more or roll it back. The spoolie on it is good. It's a nice size. It's got nice bristles that don't bend and run away. Da da da. Eyebrow. Now, I'm going to get ready to do the finish up, do the other eye, and put some lashes on, and finish with the rest of my face, and I'll be back in just a bit.